Hi, welcome to Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit. I just thought I'd do this quick update really, as you can see here. My garage is a little bit empty now, we're coming to the, uh, well it's the 1st of September today, and I've had this one in the garden um, for, for a while actually. It's just been sat there all summer not doing anything. I actually picked this up at a Saturday auction, just a normal uh, auction, it wasn't a lawnmower auction or anything like that. And I got this for £30. And obviously I was taking a chance on it because it's got some, you know, industrial equipment, it's got some certain gear speeds on, it's got a throttle on. And it's more of an industrial mower. Now what happens with these is people bypass these auctions because they're so big. They possibly can't get them in the car or they're not, you know, practical for people's general gardens. But these are well over about £1,200 new. So I put some petrol in this. Um, and I tried it, I took it out on a local field actually. And I've just sold this for £190, believe it or not. I've just got an, an eBay message now saying I've sold my item. It was auction. It went for loads of bids. I don't know when it, how many bids there were, but there was quite 25, 30 bids. As you can see there, it's gone for £190 and they've just paid as well. This was 30 quid, and I've put some petrol in it. So don't overlook these. These are uh, they're tatty, but they're, you know, they're aluminium deck, they don't rust. And people that have farmyards and things like that, they just need to cut something down that's about 7-8 inches long normally. And there's something robust enough to do the job that can bag it up as well. Also gardeners will buy old ones of these. So, yeah, I uh, obviously did a, a normal eBay listing as I would do on my phone. I just, you know, went out and took it around the corner basically. Um, and I just filmed the item just to prove it works. And I wrote a simple listing for it and things like that. But people like to know it works, I've shown you before, I've been through it before and I've told you how to add a, a YouTube video to your eBay descriptions. As you can see here, here's my, uh, here's a video, I'm not sure if it'll play, here's a video of the mower, I always do a video with a description and things like that. Um, it just helps sell the item and I just push it on a bit and actually take it around the corner just to some waste, waste grass and I just cut the grass with it just to prove that, you know, I'm not ripping anyone off, this, this does work. So... You know, there we go, the grass has been cut, people know it works. So from £30, I've put some petrol in this. Basically, you sold a £190 lawnmower. Now, you wouldn't believe that, would you, looking at that? You wouldn't, you know, some people would skip that. And I've just made £170 profit on that. You know, I've got to pay some fees, another £20 fee. So what, £150 I've done for putting some petrol in it. I mean, I could have had to break it down for spares or whatever. But mate, the point of the video really is don't overlook industrial sized lawnmowers because most people won't bid on them at an auction, as I've said. So if you see one, particularly if you get a chance to try it and it does work, snap it up and sell it because you'll make a good profit as I've done. So I've had a bit of a clear out. It's September now. Uh, I've still got some in the garden, a few little bits and that. But you've got to have a tidy up at some point. And I would recommend if you've got a, a, ga a garden full of lawnmowers that you know really that you, you can't fix and you're not going to fix. Either strip them down for spares now or, you know, put them all together in a pile and just uh, just sell these on. Because you're going to need room really. You're just going to need room to, to start again in the springtime. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to keep my eye out for ones that are really easy to service and turn around. I'm going to clean them up and I'm going to start putting a few in the garage for next summer as well as well as looking for some of these industrial ones which will sell all year round. So either uh, break them up for spares or put them in a pile and get rid. Get your workshop or shed or wherever you're working from. Just get it tidied out. Get yourself some mows that you know you're going to be able to fix up. Preferably as I've said before metal ones, red ones sell well with self drives and boxes if possible. But if they're free take what you can get of course. So, anyway, that was the uh, the message. I wanted to share that with you because obviously that's a good sale. But that's not the sort of thing that uh, happens all the time. But it does happen quite regularly if you look out for this sort of thing. So this is a Toro lawnmower. Um, you look at, go on Amazon and look on Toro. Type of Toro lawnmower in 53cm cup. Just see what they are brand new. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. I've got some other bits to do. But um, there's not a lot of sales going on now just at the end of the season now. Also keep your eye out in places like B&Q and local, uh, if you're in America, depot stores I think you call them, or Walmarts, just keep your eye on them because I'll be discounting these to get rid of them soon as well for the autumn and winter seasons. So thanks very much for watching and I will see you again shortly. Bye for now.